could make it. I heard you went partying last night. You feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It was stupid. Some friends dragged me out to some bars. I'm certainly paying for it, though. I woke up feeling like I got hit by a train. I was gonna say, Jack, partying's not really your thing. Well, I'm glad you made it anyhow. Yeah, sure. So, um, what is this exactly? Oh, it's just a poker night with some colleagues. Sort of a spur-of-the-moment thing. Actually, Jack, so glad you could make it. Is this guy boring you? No, he was just telling me about tonight's poker game. Yeah, I was going to say that the boss had the idea to invite you. Speaking of which, how is that job? Going well? Still cleaning up after you, Lucy. Oh, is the boss still mad at me? What do you want me to say? He's certainly sad that you left. You were his favorite. Of course. Though I still think I could run the place better than him. What exactly is your job? I'm a doorman. At Kane, this are you almost done over there? Yeah, yeah. You can't rush perfection. Patience is a virtue, you know. And pride's a sin. Come on, let's get started. Wait, I don't have any money with me. Oh, it's okay. Your buy-in's been prepared for you. All right, five card stud is the name of the game. So, uh, you work here? Not exactly. It's more of a permanent arrangement. I just watch the bar till whenever. This is different. I mean, you got Peter and Lucy in a room together, all for you. It must be special. Hey, I don't really know why I'm here. You said your boss put this together. Why? Look, I know this might seem strange, but he said you were a good person. He wanted a way for you and I to talk about what happened last night. It's important. What happened last night that's so important to you? I got drunk on some crappy beer, that's it. Look, I'm not sure I should be here. I really need Now to. Jack, it's very important that you stay. Anything can happen. after another with you. Sort of like. Sort of like what? What are you talking about? You're doing really well for yourself. Well, I, I really shouldn't, but I'm going to go all in. Why not, you know? Looks like it's just me and you now, Jack. Really? That's it? You've got all that and you're gonna call? Raise the stakes, make it more interesting. Don't do it. She's bluffing. You don't have to risk it. Play it safe. Where's the fun in that? She's playing you, Jack. You don't have to do this. You've got everything. You can't lose. What could go wrong?
No, that's not possible. Now I said it before, and I'll say it again. You seem like the kind of guy who'd do anything for a little bit of fun. A one-time thing, sure. But you did have fun at the bars, didn't you? Maybe even a little bit too much fun. Do you remember what you did when you woke up this morning? Yeah. I got up and I... I went... Are you sure? Are you sure you even made it home last night? Can you remember anything? I doubt it. Jack, think hard about last night. What you heard and what you saw. Think back to last night. Uh, I don't... Something happened. You need to remember what it was. You need to remember. There'll be hell if you don't. I can save you, Jack. I can get you out of here, but you need to remember what happened. You went to the bar. You had a few too many. You left the bar when you... He's not going to remember, you... Peter. He might as well start saying your no. goodbyes now. No. He can remember. Come on, Jack. Think. What did you do? What happened? I don't know. I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything that happened last night. There's a good boy. You see, the thing is, is that you never made it. Not back to your house, anyway. The nurses are happy to have you, though. They've got you holed up in this room they call it the vegetable garden. They're feeding you applesauce through a tube. Doctor said- Stop <laughs> toying with him, damn cheat. Back off, Peter. The deal was, if he could remember, he could get a second chance, but he can't remember. Three people dead, and he can't remember. He doesn't deserve this. He's been on the straight and narrow all his life. He doesn't deserve to be cast aside for one slip-up. I want to prove a point. That anyone can fall off the wagon. Jack reminds me of myself when I was younger. And now he's mine to keep. Peter? What is she talking about? I'm sorry, Jack. I'm sorry for everything. He sheds his mortal coil, and then he's mine. You're hanging on by a thread, Jack. And I just got me a new pair of scissors. What the hell are you? Now don't worry about me. There are plenty of bigger things for you to worry about. From now until hell freezes over. Like a king with a friend like you. 